Adam, yo todo mis, yo todo, yo te do. No, Mystic Document. Deuteronomistic documents known as historical documents. <clears throat> so, at least this, the book of Genesis tells us of the origin of the world. How God created intentionally everything that lives. Okay, lahat ng nabubuhay ay nilikha ng Diyos. And it was, God created them intentionally, with purpose. And, of course, makikita mo din yung halaga na bakit pang-anim on the day, ano? At mahalaga yung pag-create sa humanity, issue yan sa Genesis, the image of God. Lahat ng nilikha ni God, humanity seems to be the most precious. Kaya nagdikta sa atin yun na parang tayo pinakamahalaga sa creation, which is not. Uh, when God created the world, He just simply say, let there be, di ba? O, oh, piyat, piyat. Uh, piyat, nakakita ba kayo ng coaching piyat? Yung coaching na sa Italy, dumami nyo sa atin dito, taxi, piyat. F-I-A-T. Di ba? Piyat. Piyat means let there be. Uh, yan yung kay God na, let there be. So God created the world, by the word, by the power of His word, let there be, let there be lights, let there be waters, let there be, let there be, let there be. What makes humanity seems to be important and special is that when God created humanity, He created humanity or He created man, una, actual, hindi let there be. Hindi niya sinabing let there be man. Di ba? He went down. And seemingly took mud. At kinotihan niya ba yun? Tapos, anong sabi doon sa Genesis? And hiningahan. God breathed again. Hiningahan sa nostril at naging living being. And God created, pangalawang dahilan, why we are so special, God created humanity in His own image. Wala siyang nilika na image na, ano, sa humanity lang, ano? Again, the question there is, what does it mean? By the, what is the meaning of the image of God in man? When God said, when the Bible says, man was created in the image of God, what is the image of God in man? Ah, may mga proposals dyan. From the first century and second century Christianity, our church fathers, our church scholars, and uh, theologians propose different perspective. Ah, uh, Isang proposal dyan ay our uh, capacity as thinking being. Man as a thinking being. Uh, the rationality. Pero sa tingin nyo ba, kahit ahas ba, ang ahas ba hindi rational? Kahit yung dog. Yung dog, susugurin ka, bigla ka umupo, kumuha ka ng bato, di ba? But alam niyang aatake ka din eh. At mukhang mangingimi siyang suguri ka, di ba? Nag-isip ba siya nun? Yung ahas, atawin mo, at hindi mo napuruhan, lalaban eh. Ipoprotektan niya din yung kanyang buhay eh. Malabas siyang isip nun. Thinking din sila, no? Pero yung rationality, hindi rational ang hayop. Yung kambing, yung kalabaw, yung baka, ilagay mo dyan sa mais at saka damuhan, lahat siyang kakainin. Hindi niya naaalamin, oh, huwag to, mais to. Walang gano'n ng kalabaw o kambing. Ano? Tira lahat yan. Walang rationality na ganyan na ma-identify niya yung tama at mali. Pero may isang proposal dyan. Ang popular proposal ngayon dyan sa image of God ay si Anthony Hukima sa well, kasi issue, do, issue sa Genesis yung image of God. Mamaya, discussin pa natin yan. Image of God. Oh, they, they call it the Imago Dei, ano? Imago Dei. The Imago Dei. The image of God in man. 
Ang isa dyan na proposal ay kay Anthony Hukima. Uh, seemingly is one of the accepted right now. Ano? Uh, Anthony Hukima proposes what? The what? Ang kanyang, the image and the likeness is structural. And the functional. <clears throat> uh, Anthony Hukima proposes this kind of reading. On the image of God, the, the, the reading is the structural and the functional image. The most distracted is the functional after the fall. So if man was created in the image of God, what happened to the image of God after the fall? Ano ang nangyari sa wangis ng Diyos sa atin nung magkasala na ang tao? Did we lose it? No. Remains to be dead. After, even after the fall, Genesis chapter 5, even after the flood, Genesis chapter 9, the author of the book of Genesis keeps on saying that man and woman, the male and the female, are in the image of God. So what happened to the image after the fall? Seemingly it was corrupted. Not necessarily lost. We remain to be in the image. But in the reading of Anthony Hokima, the structural, we remain to be gifted. Diba? Humanity remains to be gifted. Ang technology ngayon, humanity, product ng humanity yan, di ba? Napakabilis na eh. Ang New York ngayon, na latest. The normal travel flight from New York to London is five hours. Uh, by 2030, nag-promise na ang mga scientists. By 2030, ilalabas nila ang supersonic plane. Commercial ito it will travel from New York to London in one hour. Grabbing speed yan. One mile per second. Supersonic. The supersonic. Nakapag, nakapag-test na sila ng flight. At napakalakas ng loob ng piloto. Nat- tatlo. Diba? Nakapag-test na sila. Ewan ko, nanonood ba kayo ng CNN? Nagbabasa naman siguro kayo ng Newsweek. O oh, ano, naman daw, na makakakita nyo yun doon, the, the supersonic plane. Uh, lalabas na yan. <laughs> uh, minsan, pag biyay, I, I went to Paris. Pag, pa, nung pa-uwi ko, dumaan ako, nag-stop over ako sa UAE. Next, ano, change flight, di ba? I was so shocked. Pagdating ko sa UAE, napakalaki ng plane. May second floor. Napatanong talaga ako sa stewardess, what is this? That's the second floor, sabi niya, the lock. Are there passengers there? Yes. How many? It can accommodate 80 to 90 passengers, sir. May second floor yung plane, ha? First time ko. <laughs> Makita, ba't, pagpasok ko, ba't may hagdan dito? Ang laki. Imagine, ha? Ang technology ngayon, no? Kahit yung cellphone, magnificent yan. Humanity, invention ng humanity yan, di ba? Imagine, mag-text ka ngayon. Second lang, nasa US na. Wala nang masyadong ano ngayon. Ano? Question in the, the journey of humanity. So, Anthony Okima seemingly insists that man remains to be gifted, talented, and skillful. The is structural. But, the functional image of man, of God in man, was totally disrupted. We function. What? After the fall, tignan nyo ang Genesis. Chapter 3, ang fall, chapter 4, you, you read the chapter 4 and chapter 5. Chapter 4, they convert their gardening tools into weapon. Napansin nyo? And then Genesis chapter 5, it's like a cemetery. Ano ang nasa cemetery? Lapida. Tignan nyo Genesis 5. After the fall, we kill each other. Humanity kill each other. 
So the functional image was broken. We function. Humanity function foolishly. So, inawain natin yung mga passage sa Genesis. Mahalaga yan. Image of God or the imago, imago the, the authorship. And then yung Genesis as origins of creation. Diba? Pangatlong, isang issue pa dyan. Pakibasa nyo ang Genesis 3. Meron ba kayong Genesis 3? O chapter 4 agad dyan. <laughs> Genesis 3, verse 15 to 18 nga po. Pakibasa. Basahin natin yung ano dyan. Torn and Tishels. Okay, in Sarah, ano? Yeah, yung pinakamabangis na statement. Uh, why, why humanity are ano, experiencing sorrow? And, ano? Actually, the literal word there is pain. Curse is the ground because of what you have done. Curse is the ground because of you. From now on, this ground, the Beha'arets, which was blessed by God in chapter 1, will now produce thorns and thistles. What is the meaning of thorns and thistles? Wala pa bang thorns nung nilikha ang mundo at wala pa ba mga thistles? There are. The, the meaning of thorns and thistles, there are pain and suffering. From now on, because of what you have done, it will produce pain and suffering. And the world is full of pain and suffering. Ano? Diba? Reality yan, ano? Wala pang mata na hindi umiyak, ano? Sino bang mata? Alin bang mata dito ang hindi pa nakaranas lumuha? In fact, the, the moment a, a child is born, he's crying. <laughs> ah, turn and thistles. Lahat tayo daw eh, contaminated ng cancer cell, eh, ano? Dito sa Philippine setting, tignan nyo. O kayo, blessed nga kayo, mga kababaihan. Meron na kayo ngayong ano, injectable na ang anti-cervic cancer, di ba? At ini-inject na yun ngayon. Dapat magpa-inject kayo. If there is one thing that I really appreciate sa scientists, makadiscover na makadiscover ng gamot sa cancer. Here in the Philippines, how many men, women died because of breast cancer? 250 to 300,000 a year. How many men died because of prostate cancer? How many died because of lung cancer? That's yearly, 100,000, 75,000. At least may cervic na. Maraming may ima. Sana maka, sabi ko, Lord, ang dami namang namamatay sa... The United States and the United Kingdom claim that breast cancer is curable in their land. Sa atin, dami pang namamatay. Even during the birth, ang dami pa sa atin, ano? Eh, Buti na lang, ang Pilipinas, napakalakas mga anak. The most obeyed law yun eh. Be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> yun ang pinaka nasunod eh. Pero yung take care of the ground, di ba? Pero yung be fruitful and multiply, talagang obedient tayo dyan. <laughs> May mga Pilipino, uh, sunod na sunod natin yan. Walang nagbabiolate yan. <laughs> isang ano yan. So isang bagay yun na dapat natin pag-aralan, yung pain and suffering ng humanity. Ano? Dahil, Pag nag-stress kayo sa anak nyo, sa church, bakit ang mundo puno ng lungkot? Bakit ang mundo puno ng pagdurusa? The questions of the prophets, the same, di ba? Why good people suffer and why bad people prosper? The same question that we are struggling right now. Na, lalo sa Philippine setting, pag in niya yung social justice, yung evil, which is social, just, social injustice is also evil. Uh, social evil yun eh. But basically, we need to promote the kind of life na, kaya nga, pinopromote natin yung buhay na makikapwa, makajos, makikapwa, at makakalikasan. ba? Para hindi, ngayon, bakit mas tinatangkilik natin ng mga organic plants? 
organic vegetable kasi kahit prutas, dangerous na din sa health ano? Dahil marami sa kanila pinalaki sa pamamagitan ng ng ano, ng chemicals. At yung mga manok, 'di ba? Yung mga manok na uh, pinapalaki minsan sa pagkain, 'di ba? Tapos kakainin mo, 'di. Ayun, kalalaki na din natin ngayon. <laughs> yeah, question din sa ating buhay 'yan eh. How we ano, we we theologize how we reflect from the book of Genesis as people of God. Mahalaga yung mga